If you have stumbled across this video today, God is trying to get your attention. This is no coincidence, because God is able to do all things. Nothing is impossible for Him. Just like all the current warnings of the dangers attached to hurricanes and the urging for people to get to safety, God is trying to warn people who currently do not have ears to hear, warning them that the end is drawing near. Because God is a God of mercy. He tries over and over again to reach a people who have no time for him. Because he is not willing for any of you to perish and go out into eternity as a lost soul. Jesus Christ gave his life for you and he wants you to come to repentance. We are in a season where God is allowing many to consider their own mortality. Soon he shall stop trying to deal with souls and many will be turned over to believe a lie and be damned for all eternity. Many in America are blaming all the current calamities on Donald Trump or the fictitious Mother Nature or governmental conspiracies or men messing with the weather or the most notorious theory of all, man-made global warming. They are willingly taken in by all these bogus theories that are being promoted by many in the government, locally and worldwide, not realizing that they are victims of spiritual wickedness and deception. It is written, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumours of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. It is written that Jesus said, So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. The context of this following scripture is also relating to that which shall take place in the time period right before the Lord returns. It explains in detail how things will be on this earth. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. What does God's word say? would be the condition of humanity before the return of Jesus Christ. It is written, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Why do the times become perilous? What is the reason for it? For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. We are in that time of great rebellion against God and everyone and everything that is godly and good and evil is reigning in the earth. 
Men are calling good evil and evil good, embracing those who are evil and persecuting those that are good. It is written that men would be traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. A certain few, even amongst celebrities, give some lip service to a God, a Jesus of their own making, but few in this day and hour love God more than themselves. Much of what is called the church today has become totally apostate, which is yet another sign that Jesus is soon to return. Actually, it is the greatest sign of his soon return. As it is written, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. That day is speaking of Jesus' second coming, and the falling away is speaking of a falling away from the truth of God's word. The man of sin is speaking of the one world leader that is to come before the return of Jesus. Oh, and the earth is warming up all right, and it is going to get much, much hotter, because it is written, but it is not the hand of man that is the cause of the heat, but the hand of Almighty God. As it is written, and the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and repented not of their deeds. The greatest indictment against fallen man is that because of their hardened hearts, when God reveals himself in judgment, men still curse him and deny him and refuse to turn from their evil and repent 